You're watching Arizona Highways, and we're all over Arizona's new home for baseball spring training, the Salt River Fields at Talking Stick. What is the coolest thing about spring training versus being in the big stadium? What's different about this place? Well, the most uncool about thing about spring training, first off, is waking up at 6 in the morning. <laughs> but other, other than that, uh, you know, being out here, great spring training complex, nothing against Tucson by any means. But uh, being here, brand new, um, you know, there's, there's nothing basically you can ask more, uh, more for. And, and, so, and what about this fan experience? I mean, you guys, these guys can't get this out at the, out of the big stadium. Very true. You know, we've had, we have a lot of fun with them, you know, being close to them, them kind of being, you know, in our practices and all that kind of stuff and, you know, signing autographs. And like I've said, you know, we're, we're kind of nothing without our fans. And so it's, it's good to have them close and, you know, ready to go with us. I know it's a bit hard to believe now, but all this careful dreaming and designing started out scrawled on a napkin. This may look like just any old napkin to you with some chicken scratch, but there is a story behind this napkin. There is, that was the initial sketch. That was the first drawing uh, by the architects of Salt River Fields. And that's, that became this, but that was at a, a restaurant when we first talked about the concept of building out here on the 140 acres. See the stadium in the middle, see all the fields around it, the lake. They didn't miss it. They didn't miss anything there. That's unbelievable. Now, how many years ago was this? This was about two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. So you and the architect, you guys are sitting at a restaurant and you said, wow, you know what? We need we need to build exactly spring training. And, facility and here. they did it and saying, here's the vision. And they tried to include fan interaction, which we'll talk about. It's very important to me. Uh, it was part of why we built this. We built this for the fans with the fans in mind. And you can see it in the sketches, which is amazing. And they ended up keeping the napkin, thank goodness, and they framed it for me. Diamondbacks president and CEO Derek Hall is a proud papa, eager to show off every corner of his new creation. You know, people in their lifetime get to design their own house or, you know, something like this. But I mean, to actually design your own stadium and know what works and what doesn't yeah. work so you can incorporate that into your own design. Exactly. And to know that it's going to be here for years for people to enjoy. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nice legacy for the organization scared to death when we opened it you know oh, that first I game bet. i thought oh I no bet. what's the reaction going to be how are people going to feel about the place and just right away total celebration from everyone that's great so now tell us where we're at right now this is uh this is one of our three party decks so this one here is the miller light taste zone okay. over on the first base side which would be the rocky side Let's appropriately the coors light zone uh, <laughs> cold zone and then upstairs the pepsi patio we left everything wide open behind us so that fans could see camelback and mummy mountain right. i mean you even see the papa goes and you look out beyond center field, you've got the McDowell Mountains, you've got Four Peaks, you've got Pinnacle. It's just, okay, there's no better against, view. Nothing against the Grapefruit League, but you know what? You don't get these That's mountain right. views in Florida. We got you beat. We got you beat, We man. don't have your travel time, we don't have your cold weather, or and you don't humidity. have these views. Or humidity. Go oh, beer, get a beer, get a cold beer, get a beer here. And if your favorite way to keep cool is a cold beer, hey, no need to even shout in this ballpark. You know, there's nothing like enjoying a spring training game. It's beautiful weather. There's just one more thing that would make it really great. A nice cold beer. And you know what? I found this app and it says, I beer guy. All I have to do is type in my name, my row, and instantaneously the beer guy will show up with my nice cold brew. So I think I'll check it out. Well, here we are. Beer me. Section 111, row 12. That's me. To the get that beer, beer exactly guy. when he needs it. This is the perfect app for everybody here at the ball club. I think it's a killer app, <laughs> don't you, Robin? It is a great app. I mean, I'll tell you, when I rang for you, I've never had a man come that quickly. I love that. I find that hard to believe, Robin. <laughs> How in the heck did you come up with that idea for that beer app? Because that is ingenious. Well, I'll tell you something, Robin. Long time ago, I used to be a season ticket holder out there. I used to have to look to and fro for the friendly beer guy Where's to appear. Where's the beer guy? Where's the beer guy, right? Exactly. Yeah, you so never get a beer. Exactly, and that's important to have a beer exactly when you need it. I and mean, with the advent of smartphones, it's only natural that the fan be able to order a beer from their seat using their iPhone, Droid, or any other smartphone. I want you to have this, Robin, and I want you to enjoy the ball game today here at beautiful Salt River Fields at Talking Stick. You know what? A toast to you, beer guy. Why not? Oh, that is great. <laughs> and if there's a chance you think you might have one too many, take advantage of Salt River Fields 
designated driver program. What happens when spring training's over and everybody kind of goes back? Sure. You know, I mean, to this place. Yeah, because we great. do go back to Chase Field, yes. uh, just the major league portion. There's a crossover. So we had, uh, we came here first as far as the major leaguers, and then the minor league, minor league players came a couple weeks after that. Okay. They stay and continue to train. But year-round, this facility will be used. It's going to be our minor league hub, so all of our staff will be out here. Right. It's going to be our major league and minor league rehab. You can imagine with the training facilities and for, for rehab's sake. And then we're going to turn fields over to the community, the Indian community, uh, that they can then use for tournaments, for camps, for clinics. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah, they're going to probably have concerts and fireworks shows because at the how stadium. how many fields do we have out here? We have 13, and we're going to put them to good use. In fact, there's overflow parking that is on grass, and the mm -hmm. grass is all lit. Those are going to be used for soccer, for lacrosse, for flag football. So there's gonna be activity out here all year. So if you like what you've been seeing of this year's Diamondbacks team in spring training, and you're ready for the real thing, you don't have long to wait. The team's first home game for regular season play is April 8th. And no, I won't be in the bullpen. Thanks everyone so much for joining us. I'm Robin Sewell, and we'll see you on the next Arizona Highways.